This is Hannibal here. I am also known as Devin Nicholson and the Blood Hunter. And over about the next month, I am going to do a draft book, just put the audio rough uh, online, part by part of a book. And if someone eventually wants to do something about it, they can get in contact with me to make it more, make an actual book out of it. Or if not, at least I've documented this information while I have the time to do so, which I won't always have the time to do so. For anyone that doesn't know me, I'm currently, as of April 14th, 2024, I got the most popular YouTube channel based in Canada for wrestling. 378,000 subscribers, about 240 million total video views. That's called The Hannibal TV. The The Hannibal TV Facebook page has about 80,000 combined likes and followers. I am a reporter for uh, those social media platforms. I'm a former Canadian champion in amateur wrestling, former Olympic trial silver medalist in Greco-Roman wrestling. My Canadian championship was in freestyle wrestling. I've won the Canadian Open in grappling. I've won the Ontario's uh, in grappling in 2010. I'm a former provincial champion in, in freestyle wrestling as well. I've done some acting. I'm part of the Actors Union. But mainly now I am a reporter and I've worked a variety of jobs, including doing all types of security from 2001 to about 2018. And worked as a personal trainer, worked in sawmills. I've done all sorts of things. And I've done everything from from sleep in uh, the Four Seasons Hotel, Montreal to, to sleep on, on jail room floors in my life from false accusations, by the way. I'm not really going to hold anything back uh, in these drafts, in this book draft. I am a fairly down to earth person and I definitely have had a lot of faults over the years, had a, a lot of accomplishments too that uh, a lot of things I'm proud of, some things I'm not proud of. But I'll try and be honest in this book. By the way, as a pro wrestler, I'm a numerous time Canadian champion, still technically an undefeated uh, Quebec champion, former IWA Puerto Rico Intercontinental Champion, two-time WWC Puerto Rico Tag Team Champion with my partner Black Pain, and I've wrestled for... I've had matches for WWE. I've had matches for Impact. I've wrestled in the UK. I've wrestled for New uh, New Japan match in the US back in 2006. And of course, I have helped uh, promote Stampede Wrestling. Wrestled all over Canada, and been the the main promoter for for Great North Wrestling from about 2007 uh, up until recent years, until Jack Kilby became executive vice president. I'm still an advisor to him, but uh, I'm no longer the main promoter of Great North Wrestling, which is probably Canada's best known internationally wrestling company right now. might not be... Might not run the most. Uh, it has definitely had some of the largest crowds over the years um, in independent wrestling for, for various things. But uh, it's definitely known because of the reach of the Hannibal TV that uh, most people internationally have heard of Great North Wrestling, although there's a lot of great um wrestling companies out there in Canada. So I'm not going to babble. Oh, by the way, I've worked with numerous Hall of Famers. 
which I will get into more in the wrestling part of my career. I've even been offered a WWE contract at one point that was uh, rescinded and there was a very famous lawsuit over it that there's been at least three documentaries on it, two, one documentary that aired four times across Canada. And of course, the the Vice Dark Side of the Ring documentary on it, and then the This Is Hannibal documentary on it that received uh, three awards at the 2012 LA Movie Awards. So, my, I might be, I may have had one of the most famously rescinded WWE contracts in history. And there's, as I said, there's been a lot of controversy in my life. I'm going to address all of this in in these in these entries i'm also going to address the main the main uh, parts of my life that some some might find more tame yes uh, giant gonzalez i will also be talking about my lovely gorgeous 14 year old miniature poodle newborn piper who enjoys strawberries, pancakes, and Cinnabon, ATF media. I I never, I never actually wrestled Ronnie Garvin, but that I wish I had. I would have loved to have wrestled Ronnie Garvin. I've interviewed him many times, but I wish I could say I wrestled Hands of Stone Ronnie Garvin and woke up two weeks later with a full beard. So yes, at the end of the chapters, I will answer fan questions about the chapters because, as I said, uh, maybe someone will do something with these someday. But now, now is the time to do this. Well, I have a bit of extra time on my hand, and I'm currently training for a comeback uh, after going through some serious issues, including a really terrible suicide attempt that I'm blessed from God that I didn't die from last July overcoming horrible false accusations against me and being totally cleared of them and recovering from a shattered heel, which is by far the, the worst, like as far as recovery injury, it's been the toughest injury for me to actually physically recover from in my life, but, but I'm getting there. So that is the introduction.